Hello, who are you? What do you do? Hi, so I'm Maya. I work at the Innovation Unit uh, in Geneva. Okay, okay. And what are you here for today? What is this? What are we looking at? So today at? we're looking at a clinical decisional support system. It's called MSF eCare. So it's MSF eCare is an electronic clinical algorithm and recommendations. Uh, basically, it started off as a paper algorithm. Okay. So it was um, developed using evidence-based. Uh, mm -hmm. We wanted to improve on the IMCI guidelines that existed and mm -hmm. using, uh, providing an MSF level, standard level of care okay. in the field. Okay. So initially, the guideline was developed on paper, and as mm -hmm. you can see, it's quite a complex paper algorithm. Yeah. It uses a syndromic approach, so mm -hmm. when the child comes into the clinic, it's for children aged from 2 months to 59 months, okay. presenting in MSF OPDs. Okay, and to, uh, where, which uh, gives a context, anywhere so, in the world? Well, eventually it could be anywhere in the world. It is under as a, a pilot phase at the moment. And where are you testing and it? The first pilot was done in the Democratic Republic of Congo, okay. and then we will be doing it in Central African Republic. Oh, not, not the easiest places to Not the to easiest try. places. Yeah. Okay, so, so you started with paper, so, but now you're moving on. You've gone, uh, you've gone uh, digital. Uh, yeah, so this paper algorithm was uh, translated into an electronic algorithm mm -hmm. on a tablet. And the idea is to be able to guide the clinician through the consultation process. Okay. Now, when it was translated into the electronic algorithm, it was to take the clinician through the process, but obviously not in the linear form of the paper, because you do not want to disrupt the consultation process when you are assessing the child in front of you. Mm -hmm. So in the algorithm itself, it goes through a non-linear process. Mm. So the first part of the algorithm is the triage. So if the child comes in with the danger signs, it takes mm -hmm. them through. And then once you've um, assessed that the child is, does not have danger signs and goes through, it then takes the child through a syndromic approach. So if the child is coming in with a cough, it takes it to the cough mm. algorithm, turning diarrhea, goes through diarrhea, okay. and so on and so forth. Let me stop you and Dr. J, is this kind of stuff being used already in, the, in, in, uh, in England, for example? Do you see this in hospitals in the UK, or, or is this something that... that to some degree, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think the idea of uh, algorithm-based medicine is, is becoming more widespread to standardise care. So I think for, for MSF, this is certainly something we're generally very used to using. Mm -hmm. um, and as we said, as we as Maya mentioned, we've been using paper copies until now. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm interested to know, with the electronic version, have you tried it with staff? Or does staff find it easy to use? Mm. Yes, we have tried it in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They yeah. had a one-day training yeah. on this. Um, initially, they, they reported that it was a bit difficult, but after a few hours of using it, um, they found that it, it really uh, helped them through the consultation process. I would like just to, to mention one thing. This is a much more of a syndromic approach. So actually, the algorithm, the development of the algorithm itself is very innovative. We often have clinical guidelines that we find on the field, which are very disease-specific but they don't take you through a syndromic approach with the child in front of you yep. or the presenting with the symptoms in front of you. So this, the actual development of the guideline was very innovative in itself to produce a syndromic approach mm -hmm. guideline, but then the second part was to translate this into an electronic application. Fantastic. And so what's next? And so pilots, pilots, pilots. So we are piloting to uh, assess the feasibility in the field in terms of the algorithm itself, but mm -hmm. also in terms of the hardware. I mean, when we did the feasibility in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we found that uh, we were in the, in the rural setting with uh, no uh, access to Internet. So then we had to develop a peer-to-peer uh, data transmission on this because this is also a tool that collects data and can be used for monitoring and evaluation. It's anonymized data, but um, it does collect data. It's not a patient file, so you can't go back and look into the patient, mm. but you can take that data up and then start analyzing the data. So supervisors can also use this tool because each clinician who uses it is, is, um, is uh, monitored on, monitored how they on the tool. And how they exactly. And, and connectivity, Maya? I mean, do you have to be connected to the internet for this, or is it no, offline as well? it's offline, and then it can be taken to a central state and okay. uploads. Because okay. I think it's a theme that's been joining several of the presentations that we had up until now, this question of connectivity. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so you've got the offline <laughs> no, version as well. It's an offline well. version. And it provides the clinician with a diagnosis and a treatment mm. based on the way to the child. So, Maya, is this, is this something that you think can be used in hospital projects or in decentralised projects? And do you, do you think it's something specific for paediatrics? 
What's, what's your ambition with this? No, eventually it can be used. At the moment, we've just developed it on the MSF uh, paediatric side. Um, the idea is to develop it for, uh, for a more, uh, I wouldn't say simplified, but maybe a task shifting down to community health worker levels. It can, you can develop algorithms for inpatient department. I mean, the potential is quite large onto what all the different uh, areas so the of the health system yeah, where yeah. you can go and, and develop this. For the moment, uh, we are focusing on the paediatrics and then uh, the task shifting for the community health workers is our next uh, focus of development. And actually added into MSFE Care, which will be the next presentation, which is Nicolas, we developed a small um, part that fits into the, this, which is called the vaccination tool. So we won't talk about that because that's coming up this <laughs> afternoon. So we won't talk about, about that because that's coming up this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> well, we'd okay, like no. to demonstrate it, yeah. Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll go to the, uh, the, the oral presentation this afternoon because we're running out of time. But, um, but we're presenting this this afternoon. Uh, fantastic. Great. So okay, we'll well, once again, well done afternoon. and good luck for the pilots in, the, in Congo. And CAR. And CAR. Thanks, Thanks. Well, Thanks very much. Thank you.